Hey everybody, it's Miss Philly again. How are you? I have a special treat for you guys today. <sighs> treat. I'm doing a handbag haul. Yay! Um, yeah, these are all thrifted things. So no Chanel, no Celine, no Birkin. Just, you know, mid-end designer is the target demographic that I've been doing lately. And don't get me wrong, you will see a Chanel haul on here soon, or Louis Vuitton. But until then, you're going to have to deal with this, okay? Okay, guys, so I went thrifting and found some amazing things that I want to share with you. Um, okay, we'll start with this first. So I went to Value Village and I found this item. This coach, I guess tote, would it be a coat? I think so, it's a tote. I think it's really pretty. It's very summery. It's a very festive and colorful and it's just a perfect bag for spring. Or summer I think and yeah it's a top handle pink patent leather trim and this is kind of like a nylon material and it's an excellent condition and I paid only $24.99 plus tax okay that is such a deal and a half for a coach bag because usually when you go to Value Village they price their coaches especially from their really good condition in the $69.99 to $100 range, which is ridiculous for a thrift store. So to find this for $24.99 is a deal and a half. I just want to give you an update on this bag. I actually sold it already because even though it's pretty, it's really not for me. And I sold it for $100. So I basically made $74 profit on it. The next thing I found was this Christian Dior makeup bag. And I used to have one of these a long, long time ago. I think back in 2013, I had one of these. I don't know what happened to it. I think maybe I just got sick of it and donated it. I don't know. But it's a Dior Beauty makeup bag. And it's a little bit dirty, but I mean, I can clean that off easily. It has a back pocket. Oh, actually... I have a Dior pencil case that would, I think that came with this set. So that's kind of odd. Anyway, it says Dior Beauty on here. And you open it. And it has this one zip pocket here. And yeah, it's really, really cute. And it's good for travel, I think. and Or just to sit on your makeup counter or bathroom counter. It's very spacious and very roomy. And this was only, I think, $3.99. And I had 30% off of it. So, I mean, I paid like three bucks for it after. Next on the list is this Juicy Couture tote. It's one of their velour bags. And I'm a really big fan of their velour bags. And actually, Juicy Couture, I don't know. Lately, it's been kind of piddle paddling and kind of boring lining it's a brand toward the way guest is now so i like to me juicy couture is kind of like guest territory and betsy johnson like they used to be very celebrity worn and celebrity celebrity driven but now like 10 years later it's just kind of gone downhill but i mean they still have funky things affordable things especially if you go to the outlet to me, a Juicy Couture bag just reminds me of the time when I had their Daydreamer bag. And this was, I think, two or three years ago. And I went to a high school and I wore that bag. And these teenagers were like, I love your bag. That's so cool. I felt like the popular girl, you know. I just felt like I was on cloud nine. I was like, they accept me. <laughs> I know, pathetic. This is an open tote bag. I bought this. It's not even like Juicy Couture, this thing, but I mean, it kind of has a Juicy Couture feel with the crown and it says Sassy Couture, but I just wanted to put these together because this has brown and this is brown and this is pink and Juicy Couture is always like all pink. But regardless, this I think was $2. This was $10. So a total of, I guess after tax, almost $14 for these two things. And this is 100% authentic. It's an open top tote and there's not even a clasp or anything. So I don't really know how I feel about that. But 
whatever. That's how the inside looks. Just one op one pocket here, one big open mouth, and you know what I said about being a born star, right? <laughs> but it's cute, and it's in, like, perfect condition. And it has leather trim handles and leather trim on the bag, so that's really nice. It's like a nice extra touch that a lot of handbag companies don't do anymore. Next thing on the list is this brand new with tags coach bag. And this one, I paid a little bit too much for it. It was $70 plus tax. So after taxes, it came out to $79. But it is brand new with tags. Now, granted, I mean, this is a factory outlet bag and the price tag says MFSRP, which means Manufacturer's Suggested Retail Price, a 268. Like, how else do they know this ain't be no 268 bag? Like, who are you trying to front? Like, I hate when outlet malls do that. They're like, Original retail price, price $268. But when you go to the cashier to pay for it, it'd be like 130 bucks. So, you know they're trying to front you, right? This is a factory outlet bag made for the factory outlet. I mean, because of the tag inside, or the Creed, Coach Creed inside. The second set of numbers start with an F, which means it was specifically made for the factory outlet, which means it wasn't meant to be sold at any Coach boutiques. So here's what the inside looks like. Brand new, lavender color. Really cute. And... The only thing that's really weird about this bag is the handles. Like, I mean, look the way it look. It's like affixed that way. So it just basically stands up. And there's no, like, when you sit your bag down, like, the handles are just all over the place like that. They don't fall down. They don't stay up. They just kind of flop like two big pairs of testicles. <laughs> I don't know if I want to resell this or keep it. But I mean, it's cute for spring, right? Like lavender, spring. How groundbreaking. I got this one from Plato's, Plato's Closet. I don't know. Or maybe I can re-gift it. I don't know. We'll see. If I get a good price for it, maybe I'll sell it. Because, I mean, on the resale market, Coach isn't really huge unless you get it for very cheap. And, I mean, $70. $70 is usually what they sell for uh, brand new. So, I mean, I might not even make any money. And if I don't make any money, then there's no point in selling it, right? So, this last bag I got actually it was from value village and the funny thing is at, when you're at value village they have an area where all their designer bags are which is up front near the cashier register the one that i go to and yeah they have their you know they put all their higher priced bags in that area or the ones that they marked higher priced not that they're actually deserving of that being higher priced anyway this bag was not there this bag was put in with all the regular you know segregated all racial and shit <laughs> they put them with the regular bags it was stuffed behind a bunch of crap and the reason i i noticed it was because of the leather i was like that looks like nice leather and I saw the hardware, I'm like, that looks like nice hardware. So I grabbed it from the back. I was like, mm, mm. <laughs> pulled it out like a baby out of vagina. And what emerged was this beautiful coach pink bag. Isn't that cute? I mean, there is some wear on it from like scuffing and wear from usage. I mean, I don't know if you can tell. But I mean, I use my leather moisturizer, my coach leather moisturizer, which seem to kind of fix the problem a little bit but this is not a factory outlet bag to mind you so this bag probably did retail for three to four hundred dollars i love that it still has the the longer strap i also love that the tag is still intact with it and i'll show you the inside looks like Nice satin lining. <laughs> you get the gist right here. There you go. And the leather is just so like soft and buttery and soft, you know, like, like a flaccid, soft thing. But yeah, I think this one I'll keep for myself. Oh, I didn't even tell you what the price was. The price on this was $20. Yeah, $20. 
and the cashier, I think the cashier thought I was trying to rip them off because when I grabbed it to pay for it, I accidentally like grabbed it by the tag and the tag came off. But right when that happened, I'm like, I was grabbing, I was like, here you go. Oops. I went like that. So like, I was thinking that maybe she thought I pulled it and exchanged a tag for something else, but I wouldn't do that. I'm not, I'm not one of those people. But yeah, legitly, it was nice. But she didn't give me too much of a hard time. I'm like, I, I'm like, I, you saw me. I was handing it to you. It ripped off. You heard the snap. Anyway, whatever. But I don't know. I like, I think I like the color. It's kind of like a berry pink. Does that make sense? Berry pink. Mm. I don't like it. It's just casual and nice. And oh, there's a front pocket in the side here too. So within the pleat, which is kind of cool. I mean, it has some issues, like there's some denting in the middle, I mean, in the front, like right there, some denting, I guess something rolled over it or was on top of it, and some scuffing like on the back, but I mean, it's, it's an aged bag, so what I look for is that the straps are still intact and it's not ripping or falling apart. I test the zippers, obviously, make sure those are functional, and then I look at the corners and make sure they're not completely worn it looked completely worn when I was buying it but I could tell that you know with just some leather moisturizer it'll fix the problem and it did so yeah this was a total deal and a half I mean original MSRP of three to four hundred dollars and getting it for twenty dollars plus tax I mean hells to the yeah anyway guys I hope you like this handbag haul video we got the coach we got I think it was all I think it was all coach oh no no I guess there was one Dior Coach, coach. Oh, and, and a juicy. <laughs> so yeah, an overload of coach. Sorry if you hate coach, but you can kiss my ass if you do. And yeah, all my social media links will be down below. Instagram, Twitter, blog, my vlogging channel, Miss Philly TV. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to that channel. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will greatly, greatly appreciate it. And until I see you in my next video, remember, Miss Philly loves you. Bye.